Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Simpson, and we're going to begin Chapter 4. And in this lesson, 4.1, we'll be talking about how to write equations in slope-intercept form. The essential question is, give the given the graph of a linear function, how can you write an equation of the line? Now, one of the definitions that we want to make sure you put down in your notes, so in your journal book under linear model, a linear model is a linear function or a linear equation that models a real-life situation. First thing we want to do is it says write an equation of each line with the given slope and y-intercept. Now remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is our slope and the b is our y-intercept. So if we look at letter A, the slope is a negative 3 and the y-intercept is 1 half. So we go y equals the slope is a negative 3 times x plus the y-intercept of 1 half. For letter B, it says the slope is 0. So we have y equals slope of 0 times x, and then the y-intercept of a negative 2, so minus 2. Well, 0 times x is just 0, so this actually is just y equals a negative 2. So again, pretty simple to write a, an equation in slope-intercept form if you're given the slope and you're given the y-intercept. You substitute the slope in for m, the y-intercept in for b, and you're done. Now they want us to write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form given the graph. Well, in order to write an equation in slope-intercept form, we must first know the slope. So, again, when we're given the graph, there are two ways we can do it. We could make a triangle and count the squares, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on top for our rise, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 across for our run. And since it is a positive slope, because it's going up and to the right, my slope is 3 halves. Now we can also use the ordered pairs that are given to us and use the slope formula if we choose to, meaning the difference of the y, so 3 minus a negative 3, all over 4 minus 0. Keep change change, and we get 6 over 4, which reduces the 3 halves. And then all we need to know is the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept, remember, always has an x value of 0. So in this case, our y-intercept, or our b, is just a negative 3. So the equation of this line in letter A would be y equals 3 halves times x minus 3. And there's our answer to letter A. Now I'm going to erase this. So if you want to write this down, pause it for a moment, and then I'm going to erase If we look at example B, again, we could go ahead and make the triangle here and count, it's not very good, squares again. And so if we look here, we go one, two, three. So we're down here, and then we go across. So we have 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So we went down 3 over 4. And since this is going downhill, it's a negative slope. So that's a negative 3, 4. So our m is a negative 3, 4. And if we look at this, the points that they give us right here, that is the y-intercept. Because again, the y-intercept always has an x value of 0. So that means our b is equal to 2. So now I know my slope and I know my y-intercept, so I can go ahead and write the equation of my line in slope-intercept form. 